Smile and learn. Hey, welcome to the Smile Toy Factory. My name is Windsor Divisor, and I'm the manager. You've just arrived on time. We're trying to figure out how to package all our toys. There are so many, but I know a few tricks to figure out if we'll have any toys left over when we put them in boxes. We call them the divisibility rules. I'll tell you about some of them. Look at how many robots there are. We want to put two in each box, but we need to know if there will be any left over. We can't send any boxes with only one robot. To find out, we'll be using the divisibility rules. The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is called the divisor. For example, if we have four robots and we want to put two in each box, there won't be any left over because the remainder of the division is zero. So four is divisible by two and the number two is its divisor. For example, the number three isn't divisible by two because if we divide three by two, the remainder isn't zero. Look, the remainder is one. Each number has its own divisibility rule. Some are based on adding all the digits. For others, you have to look at the last digits, and some can be done by doing several simple operations. Today we'll talk about the numbers divisible by 1, 2, 5, and 10. Numbers divisible by 1 There's a very special number which no divisibility rule is needed because any number you can think of is divisible by it. It's known as the universal divisor. Can you tell me what it is? Correct, the number one. Every number can be divided by one and the remainder will always be zero. All right, let's go solve our robot problem. Numbers divisible by 2. As you see, there are 264 robots, and as I told you before that I'd want to put two robots in each box. We need to know if all the boxes will be full or if there will be robots left over. It's very easy to figure out. We can use the divisibility rule of 2. If it's an even number, it's divisible by 2. And if it's an odd number, it isn't divisible by 2. The remainder is 1, which is the number of robots left over. That means we will have one robot left over, and we would have to make one more to fill the box. Let's give it a try. To figure out if a number is odd or even, we have to look at its last digit. The last digit of 264 is 4, which is an even number. So, 264 is even, and it should be divisible by 2. Let's test the rule. Look! The remainder is 0, and we have proven that the divisibility rule of 2 works. Fantastic! No robot was left over. Numbers divisible by 5. Here we have dolls. In this case, we can always keep 5 in each box. To find out if we can divide them into boxes of 5, we use the divisibility rule of 5. To find out if a whole number is divisible by 5, we only have to look at the last digit. It's super easy. Every number ending in 5 or 0 is divisible by 5. There are 875 dolls, so if we store them 5 by 5, there will be none left over. You know why? Think of the multiplication table of 5. Let's look at the last digits. Did you notice anything? 
Exactly. All the results end in 5 and 0, as in our divisibility rule of 5. Let's go to the marble area. Numbers divisible by 10. We have 6,741 marbles. We're putting 10 in each box. Now we need to know the divisibility rule for the number 10, so that there are no marbles left over. This is much easier. We just have to check if the number we want to divide ends in 0. What do you think will happen when we pack up all our marbles? Very good. There will be marbles left over because the number 6741 is not divisible by 10. Can you guess how many we will have left over? There will be one left over! Well done. Thank you very much for your visit. I hope you enjoyed learning about the divisibility rules. They are very useful in everyday life. They will also be useful in your math classes at school because they give us clues to simplify fractions, to know if a number is prime, and a lot of other things. Time for a break. If you're hungry, you can stop by my brother Connor's fruit shop. He's right next door and he loves to be visited so he can teach his favorite divisibility rules. You'll have a great time. See you later. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.